Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Connected Conduit where I link with spirit, my higher self, the energies of the universe, and I channel messages for you. So welcome, welcome. And um, the message that's coming through for the collective today from spirit is step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so we're going to dig into that a little bit. Um, but that's the energy that I'm feeling that the collective is right on the cusp of like a huge breakthrough. Um, but in order to get there, we need to push ourselves a little bit, step out of our comfort zones, get a little uncomfortable and explore. So let's dig into this energy. Yeah, it's time to take action and confidence is the key to your success. 100%. Okay, so that's yellow and orange, which is the sacral and the solar plexus chakras. So um, if you feel called, you can do a little work on those. Um, if you're feeling like you lack a little bit of confidence, then it would be helpful to work on your solar plexus chakra. And if you feel like you're having a hard time creating things, then that means you could have a blockage in your sacral, which is your orange chakra. Let's see, Spirit, what energy would you like to show us at this time for the collective for their greatest and highest good, please? I'm also hearing surrender, surrender to the divine, okay? Everything's going to be okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, surrender to the divine is on the bottom. Yeah, I'm seeing the world card in my third eye. So there's just huge, huge shifts taking place at this time. So many of you are going through um, and wrapping up certain cycles in your life, okay? Look, surrender to the divine came out. It came out. So this is really important, okay? As we move forward, step into the new, that we surrender up all of our fears, worries, anxieties, doubts, anything. Anything that can lower your vibration, it's got to go, okay? For you to fully step into your true potential and power you have to believe trust and go for it so so many of you have gone through a difficult time i see that and i can feel it in the energy but it's like it's definitely part of the, the your past okay and what i'm sensing is that most of the collective is so close to finally releasing and letting everything go and stepping into the new Emotions are running high. Yeah, this is an intense time, you guys, an intense period. We just had the um, new moon in Gemini yesterday, I believe. So that can bring up a lot of emotions. Um, anything that was, you know, not properly dealt with that has been maybe pushed down or stuck you know, you're going to find that these things are going to start coming to the surface to be felt and healed. Okay. Let's see. It's just massive transformation, you guys. Massive. And it's, I feel like it's, you know, it's collective. It's global. Look, transformation is on the bottom of the deck. I mean, you can't make it up. <laughs> transformation, things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing, deep. Wow. So everything that you've gone through in the past, it's for a specific reason, okay? It's to make you into the person that you are today. It's to make you stronger, more wise. You know, a lot of the collective have been learning major life lessons. And um, this is all in preparation, okay, for this next phase in your life, which is going to be mind-blowingly huge. That's, that's just the only way I can describe the energy. Like, it's huge. I'm looking at this card, and it's just, like, massive, blown up. 444, as I look at the timestamp. Okay, that's an angelic number. Um, I just feel like there's so much support from the divine or whatever higher power you believe in, the universe, whatever. Um, 
yeah so as you go through these shifts and trans transformations you are being held you are being protected see the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold so you're coming out of a tough cycle and there's the light at the end of the tunnel it's so close you guys it's so close i'm telling you it's like being right on the edge now i'm seeing the three of wands in my mind's eye right on the edge of something massive huge mind-blowing something that's going to make you so happy and it's not just in one area of your life this is a complete overhaul complete okay and so we have get grounded on the bottom of the deck so you know your spirit guys spirit team the universe whatever they're all encouraging you to during this huge shift right these big changes to stay grounded because it's going to be intense it's very powerful okay a lot of your um, spirituality is going to explode a lot of spiritual awakenings okay big tower moments things are crumbling rebuilding so get connected to the ground um, there's lots of grounding techniques that you can use so just do a little research and find one that works best for you I like to use tree roots coming out of the bottom of my feet and going deep, deep, deep into the earth. And then I always inhale and I draw up that beautiful earth magic just with my intention right into my body. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Absolutely. It is such a huge, important thing to take care of yourself, to have kindness and compassion, because this is not easy. This is not for the faint of heart. This has been tough times. A lot of a lot of you have experienced loss, right? Um, and through loss, we have grief. And that could be loss of a friend or friendships, loss of um, a husband or a wife. And I'm not just talking because they transitioned, but because maybe, you know, separations, divorces, just big, big life-changing things like that. Okay, I'm hearing overhaul. Overhaul is the word I'm getting. Um so absolutely make sure that you're taking care of yourself you're resting you're not pushing yourself too hard you don't need to force things i'm here i'm seeing the strength card now in my third eye you don't need to force things or push things you can allow it to come to you just work on your healing take care of yourself um and focus on that heart space okay heart space um choices okay speaking from the heart speaking your truth to those around you i'm also seeing the seven of wands in my mind's eye like having the courage to stand up for yourself set boundaries with people if need be trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do wow if you knew you would be supported what would you do and then we have protection on the bottom of the deck. And I was saying that I really feel the divine is protecting, okay, the collective. At this time, as the collective moves, moves through another ascension, okay, I'm hearing triple threat, triple threat. Like, I feel whatever you're being gifted by the divine at this time, it's massive, massive downloads, okay? And for some of you out there, you're a triple threat, <laughs> whatever that means for you, but maybe you know, you have just incredible insight and abilities at this time, okay? Maybe you sing, dance, and act. I don't know, <laughs> but you're a triple threat. And look, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. This card has been coming out a lot the past month, you guys. Um, so again, like surrendering up any fears, worries, doubts, anxieties, you know, they've got to go because that's a lower vibrational energy. And in order to really take that next leap, you've got to trust, believe all as well. Okay, I'm going to pull one more and then I'm going to dig into some tarot. But um, I just feel like this, this tough cycle that the collective has been moving through is so close to being such a thing of the past. Okay, and any trauma related energy that was like stuck in the body it's um it's almost fully released okay and we're not all like fully healed 
Okay, we always have to work through stuff. Stuff's gonna come up constantly, but it's, do we have the tools and the abilities to deal with that when that happens, right? Can we ride the waves of life, right? So that's why having a spiritual practice and things like that, shifting your thinking um, can really get you through those ups and downs, right? Now I'm seeing the two of pentacles in my mind's eye. Wow, Pleiades. I said that weird. <laughs> Pleiades. Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Wow. See, lightworkers, star seeds. I'm hearing like priests and high priestess. This is a big deal. Okay. Most of the people watching my channel are light workers. So you guys are on your way. It's just this, it's just this little bit of fear that I can, I can feel like a bit of fear, a bit of anxiety. Okay. But I just heard very clearly from spirit that nothing is stopping you now. Nothing. Like the path is clear. If you want it, you got it. Like that's what I'm getting from spirit. You want it, you got it because you earned it. So spirit's almost just waiting for you to make that final decision and do it because they got you. They're going to catch you, whatever you choose. But you have to make your make up your mind, make the decision and go for it and commit 100%. And don't look back. Don't look back. See? Answer the call. And I just got full body goosebumps. Answer the call. What is your call? Sorry. What is your soul calling you to do? Wow. Okay, let's dig into some tarot here. This is absolutely gorgeous messages for the collective. Thank you, Spirit. They really, you know, I just keep hearing from spirit, like just surrender it all up to us. Give it to us. Give it to us. Um, you don't have to carry it anymore. And now I'm getting emotional and I'm seeing the 10 of wands in my mind's eye. Um, so many of you are, you know, still so burdened and um, just tired. I feel too. Like, when is the shift going to happen? When can I lay these burdens down and feel free again? And spirit saying you can do that now, right now, right here and now. You don't have to wait right? Set your intentions. Wow. Death card, Queen of Cups on the split. Five of Wands and Temperance. Yeah. Eight of Wands. I'm just going to get a feel for things. Wow. Let's do a few shuffles so I can connect with your energy, even though you're going to be watching this in the future. <laughs> you get to affect it right now, which is the past, which is so cool because that's how energy works. There's no limits, no limits. And you know what? That's you don't put limits on yourself either. There's no limits for you. Okay. You want it? You got it. Like I just keep hearing that. You want it? You got it. <laughs> I love it. What's that song where she's like, I want it, I like it, I got it. I don't know. <laughs> Ariana Grande or something. I don't know. I don't really listen to her, but yeah. I like it, I want it, I got it. <laughs> so Spirit's encouraging you to just adopt that attitude. Like just go after what you want, okay? Surrender your fears, worries, and doubts. You're a powerful person. You got this. Look, the sun. Oh my gosh, it's the happiest card in the deck and I'm getting super overwhelmed with emotion. Like you are headed towards the sun. 1404 as I look at the timestamp. Like you're so close, okay? 1404, four and four and one. Okay, that's nine. Nine, what's the number of nine? It's like at the end of a cycle. The end of a cycle is a nine. You're so close, to liberation, freedom, enlightenment, glory, having your dream life. Like that's how it feels. And then we have the death card on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, every, the collective is going through major ascension, transformational processes. And this is not small. Things are changing at a cellular level. 1444 as I look at the timestamp. Like it's a whole new world, a whole new way of life. Wow. You guys have been doing the work. 
Knight of Cups. So for some of you, okay, you're going to be entering into an extremely romantic relationship with somebody. For others of you, this is just showing me that you will stop at nothing, okay, to have your heart's desire fulfilled. Like, what do you want, right? The Knight of Cups um, makes heart-based decisions, a hopeless romantic, um, very, very deep feeler. The Knight of Cups does not let obstacles stand in his or her way. Okay, there's no gender in Tarot. It's just an energy. So, again, you want it? You got it. You just have to go get it. Believe in yourself and go get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. I'm feeling excited for you. See, Seven of Wands. See, I told you I was, feel I was seeing this in my third eye. The Seven of Wands. Don't give up. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep pushing through. Have courage. Be determined. Okay? Keep the naysayers away. Anybody who is negative in your life, um, you know, who's going to hold you back, you really need to take a good look at that and see, I don't know, if they need to stick around or if they need to go because that happens, right? That happens as we transform. Friends fall away. Old beliefs. Things like that. People, places, and things, right? And it's okay. It's natural. It happens. And it's all for your greatest and highest good. So it seems very painful at first. But the universe does not like holes, okay? Or gaps. The universe likes balance. So whatever is, is lost, okay, will always be returned to you. And usually tenfold, right? When you make the right decision, even though it's hard, even though it's going to be, you know, it's going to be so painful, but you know, it's the right thing for you. And then you do it because you have enough strength and courage to follow your heart. The universe knows that. And so whatever you sacrifice will be returned to you tenfold. Okay. See, the tower, whatever you sacrifice, whatever falls away, this is the crumbling. I told you I was seeing the tower earlier, right? There it is. The great divide, the great crumbling. Okay, what are you clinging on to? Let it go now. Let it go now so you can fly, okay? I'm getting really emotional. Whew. There's lots of feelings coming through. Let go so you can fly. Look what comes out. Oh my God. A god. Look what comes out. Sorry, but look. Let go. Look at her. The four of pentacles. She's clutching her purse. She's hanging on to something for dear life. Spirit saying, let go so you can fly the world. Look at her. She's free. She's open. Brand new cycle. She's flying. Let go so you can fly. That message has literally just been confirmed. By the two cards that came out here. Four of pentacles in the world. Let go so you can fly. Wow. And on the bottom of the deck, the nine of pentacles. Look it. She's free. She's loving life. She's, she's manifested what she's wanted. He or she, it doesn't matter. It's just an energy. And look, there's an owl here. Or a hawk. I'm not sure. Um, but there's a bird. Okay. So again, reference to flying, spreading your wings, open up. Allow the shift to happen. Allow it. Oof. Eight of Wands. Okay, this can signify things just picking up pace like that. The second you choose to let go and free yourself from whatever is holding you back, you are just going to light up. Your life is going to light up. Everything, I'm telling you, I can feel it and it's intense. It's super intense, okay? This is also major communication from somebody very special coming into your life with the Knight of Cups here. Wow. Woo. This fell out weird. Okay, <clears throat> let me just get grounded. See, I'm even getting carried away. Okay, whoo. Like you're not going to even know <laughs> what's hit you <laughs> when this comes in, okay? 
I'm getting You Are the Sunshine of My Life by Stevie Wonder. See, Ace of, Ace of Swords, clarity, truth. I'm hearing revelation. Sudden enlightenment. Okay, so you've been in the dark. This is how I feel. Like, Spirit's been keeping something from you. Um, and they're doing it because they want you to just keep pushing forward on faith. Right? Having faith and keep pushing forward and keep believing in yourself. And there's something that's hidden. That's what I feel. And that as soon soon... As soon as you let go and step into that new and you fully embrace your truth, honor, integrity, your, your personal power, everything, your life's purpose, okay, you're going to have this revelation. Things are going to become very clear to you and things that you're going to be like drawing things in like the magician, okay, very magnetic. See, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, Something is coming in to make you very happy and there's it's going to be something that lights you up inside. Okay? And for some of you, this is a very passionate, new love soulmate coming in for you. Extremely passionate. Look at Page of Cups behind that. Expect fun, passionate communication between you and this person. There's a lot of creativity here, I'm sensing. Um, just lots of fun. After a period of where there was nothing, like I'm sensing a hermit phase where there was nothing, like just silence and you're just sort of holed up working on yourself, right? Which is essential. It's it's essential, right? But it kind of sucks doing all that healing work. Like, gah! <laughs> so anyways, expect communication, all right? Expect... Um, You're going to be getting massive downloads. That's what I just heard. And then all of a sudden, the puzzle pieces are going to fit. Okay, because you're missing pieces of the puzzle right now. And that's why you're having to go on faith. And soon things are going to start to click together and you're going to see the bigger picture. You're going to have a huge aha moment. Like, oh, that's why that happened. Or that's why I met that person. Or that's why that fell through. Or yada, 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 you know blah 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 exactly because it was destined the wheel of fortune things are about to pick up pace here start turning i'm hearing like a huge squeaky wheel like like squealing as it goes around because it's just been stuck for so long sitting and now all of a sudden it's starting to move and it's squeaky at first but then once it gets going it's like it's like now I'm seeing a train wheel, like chugga, 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 chugga. Like there's no stopping it. That's the energy that I feel. It's like the energy is gaining momentum in a big, big way. Now I'm getting that song again by live. Um, Thunder crashes or something like that. Anyway, expect it. Expect big, big things to happen that are fated and destined for you. Because you've been on a journey, a spiritual path with the Eight of Cups. You've made a sacrifice. Like I said, so many of the collective have walked away from certain things that just no longer serve them. Okay. Yeah. See, I split the deck on Six of Swords. Exactly. Moving forward. And these crows symbolize spirit leading you, pulling the boat, pulling you to safer shores, out of like crazy waters, safely to the shore. Okay, the Six of Swords obviously comes after the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is chaos, conflict, mental distress, confusion even, right? Like, oh, what, what am I doing? Where am I going? What is happening? This is painful, right? All those things. Um, and just going on faith. This is big. This is big, you guys. So just keep pouring love into yourself. Trust that you're on the, the right path for you. And um, just let go of anything that's holding you back. Anything of a lower vibration, okay? It's got to go at this point. It must be surrendered. Um, surrender to the divine. Yeah, things are just intense. Things are intense. Emotions are running high. And that's how I feel things are going to feel when you run into this person, okay? 
if you're looking for love, if you're available for that, if that's something that you're trying to manifest, it is coming in. It's coming in hot and heavy. My whole body is on fire right now. Okay, look. Surrender to the divine. Let go. Move on. Look, ten of wands. Dropping the burdens. Letting them go. Freeing yourself. Lighten your load so you can fly, right? It's that message coming through again. Lighten your load so you can fly. Stay strong, have faith. It is coming. It is coming in. Just keep, keep your thoughts focused on exactly what you want and nothing else. Only on what you want, okay? Not on the past. Not on your fears or doubts or worries. Confidence, confidence, remember? Confidence is your key to success. I'm looking at the sun and I'm definitely feeling that Leo energy, confidence. Eight of Cups came out. Eight of Cups, the Fool. Yeah, it's, it's surrendering the past, leaving the past behind. Look, she's walking away from eight cups that were very unfulfilling in search for her ten of cups, ultimate wish fulfillment. Okay, it's a sacrifice. But she knows, he or she knows that there's better days ahead. And your soul just yearns for more. So, yeah. You're moving towards a new beginning, a fresh new start and new beginnings. With the Fool and the Empress, there's so much potential out there for you. You your, yourself, you're bursting with potential. Again, you want it, you got it. Place your order. <laughs> That's what the universe is saying. Place your order. Okay? Get ready. Ding. Order is up. Here it is. The Empress. It's just new beginnings, okay? It's beautiful. Page of Wands, I'm telling you, you're going to be receiving communication from somebody who thinks you are everything. It's a big love here, okay? Male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just an energy. <laughs> I'm hearing saddle up, okay? I don't know why, but I'm hearing saddle up. Like, get ready. Because things are about to move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saddle up. <laughs> Maybe some of you will be going horseback riding or your horseback riders. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. I said saddle up and look what comes out. Look. It's a horse wearing a saddle. <laughs> Come on. You can't make it up. Saddle up, baby. Things are about to start moving. Wow. Straight to your Ten of Pentacles, which is very much everything you would want in the 3D, right? So whatever your dreams are, that's what you're getting. So if you want a house a family, the dog, the car, the kids, whatever you want. You want it? You got it. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Collective. It's beautiful. So I'm looking at this King of Cups and immediately I'm just thinking about yeah, keeping your thoughts positive and manifesting exactly what you want, okay? Through focusing on what you do want and not what on not on what you don't want, okay? And the emperor taking charge, being very focused for the four of swords under the deck on the bottom. Um, being sure to address any emotions that come up. Don't push them down. Let them out. Purge them. Do all of the release work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. My throat chakra just went. Okay, so some of you have something that you really need to say to somebody or really want to say to somebody that you need to get off your chest. It's been weighing on you very heavily. Um, that's for some. And for others, this Knight of Cups, when this person comes in towards you, they might be a little tongue-tied. Okay? Anything else for the collective? Anything else coming in? What else do we need to see here? Oh, 
I'm getting, I keep getting Celine Dion. Um, it's all coming back to me now. It, I just keep hearing it over and over and over for like the past, I don't know, a few days now. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. So again, remember how, how I was saying, whatever you sacrifice and release, it's going to come back to you tenfold, tenfold, ten of pentacles. Okay. It's all coming back to you now. Wow. So maybe gifts that you had lying dormant are starting to come to the surface. Um, or you're starting to see an increase in your finances after having a financial loss. Um, maybe you're making new friends, going on dates, whatever it is that you feel like you've lost. Or even if you felt like you lost a part of yourself, it's coming back to oneness, wholeness with self. It's really beautiful, you guys. Seven of Wands, don't give up, don't give in, keep pushing forward, keep fighting the good fight, okay? Go within, stand your ground, stand your ground, okay? Because something's about to pop here, something's about to be birthed with the Empress. Again, the Page of Wands. See, and then there's the Seven of Pentacles behind that. It's like the seeds that you planted they're about to come to fruition, okay? So whatever those seeds are for you, ooh, and then I split the deck on the King of Wands. So for many of you, this could be manifesting a specific person in your life, okay? If not, this is just you go, having like the fire and the drive to go after your passions and really take charge of your life. It's really beautiful energy, you guys. Again, I have heat going all the way up my back super intense nine of pentacles yeah you know who you are you know what you want and spirit saying reach for it reach for it because it's all right there for you okay these are all these options that are around and available for you so you want it you got it all you have to do is reach for it and take it take it it's yours you want it you got it okay beautiful beautiful love it love the energy coming through for the collective today um maybe i should end with an affirmation let me just grab it wow powerful stuff you guys and also well done well done you should give yourself a huge pat on the back okay <laughs> transforming is not a pleasant or easy process but then when it's when it's done and you can look back and see how far you've come it's just like mind-blowing just mind-blowing oh it says attachment i release all attachments and then soulmate i am the one who trusts so again it, it comes back to the four of pentacles about releasing right letting go of any attachments you have to people places things um a, a state of mind anything anything okay all right look freedom i love myself freedom let go be free be free with the world they look similar too. these cards don't they the blues and the greens okay let's see what comes out for you It's all coming back to me now. Great song. <laughs> I think I might listen to it after I get off here. Oh boy. All right, what's coming through? Oh my gosh, Soulmate came out. See, I'm telling you, and we have the Knight of Cups here. Whew. I am the one who trusts. Allow me, Divine Beloved, to trust the perfect person has already been selected. In the right place and time, we shall meet. For, what? For you know every true desire of my heart. May I only wish for what you wish for me. So this is just saying trust, right? Trust the universe that your person has already been picked for you. <laughs> and they will come in when the time is right. So you can let go. You can get let go of um, fear, worry, or doubt. Your person is coming in. 100%. If that's what you want, you got it. Okay? 
So you just have to trust. It's so beautiful. It's so, oh my gosh. I love it. Release. See? Release. I move in harmony. Change me, divine beloved, into one who easily releases all that's ready to go. Oh my gosh, you can't make it up. It's about letting go. Let me move in harmony with your natural cycles. Oh my God, it talks about cycles and letting go. <laughs> See, you're at the end of a difficult cycle. It's done, it's over, you're at the end. You're on the cusp of something major. So just let go and fly, you're ready. Playfulness, I feel adventurous. Ooh, nice. Change me, divine beloved, into one who is wildly open to the new. Free me from rigid patterns that no longer serve. Let me feel adventurous and spontaneous, knowing that the more I open to life, the more it opens to me. So open up your arms, baby. Okay, it's a big, bright, beautiful world out there that is meant to be your playground. So go out, have some fun, shine your light around. Okay, that's beautiful, you guys. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found this message helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe if you're new, I'd love to have you. So yeah, sending you guys all love and light and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.